Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what to expect and how to prepare for the Zero Chill promo now guys as you guys do know stream we are supposed to get some zero chill news so hopefully we do get some we get updated on some of the zero chill news throughout the weekend but this promo should be coming sometime late next week if i had to imagine today uh you now throughout the weekend we're gonna be going three through six in terms of dates so i'd imagine next week right we'll be somewhere near the 10th 15th ish going into the following week so i imagine that's probably when the promo will drop sometime between december 9th between december 15th give or take that area that that, that window right now zero chill has a lot of components to it beyond just a typical like promo right so we have zero chill is its own little its own thing of players but zero chill contains multiple like side pieces which is very important to the promo which i will get to throughout this video but let's start with the zero chill let's start with that stuff now if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this a big thumbs up and if you guys are interested in daily fantasy my code and link down below for underdog will get you guys up to a free 100 on your first deposit so make sure you guys do check that out it's just an easy way to get some free money to go ahead and play if you guys do enjoy sports and it makes sports just so much better to watch at times like thursday night football games and you have no one fantasy you just load up a, a fantasy line you can do up to it you can do a dollar like it's just fun and you have free money to do so if you play dollar dollar lines and you guys have a hundred bucks you can end up free 100 free 100 entries right it's just fun that could last you the whole season of 100 dollars entries so check that out but yeah i start with the zero chill stuff so starting off with zero chill here guys we do have the main players right this is like the the, the generic zero chill stuff so we had derrick henry derrick henry was one of our masters last year now this is like these cards are going to be probably better than we had last year because we have our overalls are already at 95 96 Derek Henry is one of the masters. Now, Zero Chill is going to be a generic drop of a bunch of players, right? So, we have Christian McCaffrey. He was one of the masters. And then we had Bobby Wagner. And then we had Charles Woodson. So, these are going to be some of the masters that we do get throughout the thing. We'll get some LTDs for Zero Chill. I don't remember if Charles Woodson was an LTD or just... I think, oh, he's a master. Okay, so you get to go ahead and do the set for him. Then we're going to get the lower guys. Like, we had Stephon Gilmore. He was an LTD. We're going to get some lower end LTDs. We're going to get some masters. The Zero Chill is probably the least exciting part of the Zero Chill promo, ironically, right? These are just going to be the generic players, but there's just so much more to this promo. We had Odell, and this goes all the way down up until, like, 75 overalls, right? Like, we're going all the way down to a lot of low overalls. It's going to be it's gonna be a big drop of players, which is really good for theme teams, because you're going to get a lot of good guys as well as a lot of lower-end guys that can fit onto theme teams. So that's just going to be the Zero Chill component. These players are pretty decent, you know. These are going to be decent players. We have the Zach Ertz, who should be a lot better because his recent card was better than that. Kenyon Drake. And again, I think these cards should start at 95, 96 as well. Uh, maybe one overall higher, hopefully, because we are over, over later in the game. Then again, Madden may be trying to scale back overalls and stats, considering how far ahead we are already. So that's, that's definitely a component to factor into this when you do think about it. But moving on, guys, uh, this is going to be the Snow Beast. Now, if you don't know what the Snow Beast are, Snow Beast have been dropping pretty much every year for the last few years in Madden. Now, what a Snow Beast pretty much is, is that they're cards that you can go ahead and get, like, through a solo challenge or through a one-time pack or whatever. And you can go ahead and upgrade them. They start at 80 overall, and they go all the way up to a certain overall. Now, I don't remember what the exact overall is here, so I'm pretty sure you could upgrade them. I don't know if it was, like, to a 93. These are other really good cards you do pretty much get for free, and then you have to upgrade them. Now, you can upgrade them with a few things. Sometimes it's training. Sometimes it's uh, currency, such as, like, snowflakes, whatever the currency of the new promo would be. And then other times it's collectible so i don't know how they're gonna do it this year but it's probably like i said it could be currency so it'll be like 80 overall lamar and the first upgrade is like 500 snow then it's 1500 snow then 2000 snow, 5000 snow you guys remember there was a big glitch with this few years ago where they did use it as training as an accident and it was super easy to get them but pending glitches it should be a currency and or collectibles and or it really just depends on how they set it up but guys there should be about four snow beasts worth the place we had matt marshall Lattimore, kelsey lamar eddie jackson uh, last year, the best two were Lattimore and Lamar, obviously. Uh, Kelsey was was decent. Eddie Jackson was just too slow. But these are going to be fun. So, again, on top of the Zero Chill, you're going to get a player that you can really upgrade just all the way up. I don't know what overall to go with. I think it was 93 last year, if I'm not mistaken. But Snow Beast is another part of this promo that's always been pretty fun. Uh, next, guys, we do have the Out of Position players. Now, Out of Position players are another one of the biggest parts of zero chill so 95 overall jamal adams but he was a outside linebacker which is interesting because you're getting a safety at linebacker now he's still going to play like a linebacker which sucks but 
you're gonna get a really fast outside linebacker with crazy good hit power and if they do it right they'll give him like some other stuff like a pass rush which they did not give him actually which kind of sucked but good block shed 95 uh 96 hit power Again, out of position players are typically fun because people like to build out of position teams. Calvin Johnson, free safety is practically a staple at this point, although we did get him ready, I think. Uh, 90 in, in, with, the, with the yard stuff, but you know, you get 94 zone at six foot five with 95 catching. Pretty crazy card. People always love this card. We typically get like an Edelman quarterback, a Metcalf uh, safety, I believe. Another really good card, like a more budgety Calvin. Taysom Hill at tight end, I believe. Just a lot of good options here, guys. And again, for theme teams, you're gonna be able to fit a lot of players on spots where you wouldn't think so. So let's say you have Jamal Adams and you have him, you can put him on a Jets team team and you want him outside linebacker because Jets already have two good safeties. Or if you have the Seahawks, they already have good safeties like the Cam Chance, so you can move Jamal to outside linebacker pretty sim uh, pretty simply, right? Um, just a lot of good stuff. Quentin Nelson, I believe, this was a fullback card. There's just always some good stuff that does come from this promo, guys. And these are gonna be players that have played these positions, right? Like so the, the Robert Hunt or whatever, whatever his name was, who caught that touchdown if they made a fullback, he might get another card for this promo. A Dory Jackson at wide receiver. Now, I mean, they could make some of these up, but from my experience, these are players who actually played these things at one point. Julian Edelman, cornerback. Now, not that they played this mainly in the NFL, but in college, or they, they subbed in on, like, like, Rob Gronk subbed in on prevent three deep safety at the end of games. That could be part of it. Cordell Patterson will definitely get a card this year with how many positions he's been playing. Um, there's just so many opportunities for players to get a lot of cards here. And then for the final component of it, guys, we do have the Ghost of Madden, which are typically the best cards of the promo. Ghost of Madden, guys, if you don't know, there's Ghost of Madden past, present, and future. These are pretty much going to be some of the best players from the past, some of the best players from present, like the current times, and some of the best players in the future. And what that means is the future typically are like rookies or really young guys who have a chance to be great. Like Patrick Sertain, let's just say if he didn't just get a Team of the Week card. Um... Daniel Jones has been a ghost of future. Saquon Barkley has been a ghost of future. I can see like Trevor Lawrence getting a ghost of future card. I can see um, who's another good quarterback that's starting up this year. Trevor Lawrence. Um, I'm blanking on these quarterbacks right now, but you guys know the point. Ghost of Madden Future is always super fun because you're going to get a lot of rookies. So, some of the ghosts of past from last year was like Bo Jackson, some pretty cool card art here. Now, guys, these guys typically come from presents and or... Uh, Reroll sets and or packs right now. I'll get into the presence in a second. Now Ghost of Madden, super cool guys. Some ghost to pass guys like Tony Gonzalez, Bo, Rice, Junior Sale, Heinz Ward. Then we got the and they're typically different overalls. Uh the past are usually the highest, present are usually like mid-tier, and the future usually the lowest overall. So Kamara, Mahomes, Watt, Jadavius White, Atwater. Now for future, we had Daniel Jones, Calvin Ridley, Isaiah Simmons, who was an absolute beast at 95 speed at safety. Uh, with the 95 zone with a pretty good hit power as well wherever that is i can't find it. oh 95 hit power yeah this car was an absolute beast so goes to madden future past and presence one of the most fun aspects of the promo and this goes all the way down to like some of these lower overall ghost of madden like a ghost of future deandre swift right hero so those are pretty cool as well and i guess another thing i want to talk about is the present so if you guys don't know typically we have a present a present hunt pretty much you can go ahead and do like re-rolls with currency if we had a side currency or training and you collect presents now presents are going to be like your typical real life presents so they'll be like a small red gift which typically let's say would be jewelry right? you get the big gift that could be the big toy set like it'll be, look like real life presents but the best part about these presents is they typically come with clues and hints on them that kind of hint what they're at so like they'll be like a big extra large gray present that's really rare like super rare like no one really has them and if you look in the corner you'll see like it'll be like black and white stripes so it'll be like raiders logo and that's going to be the bo jackson present right or there'll be like a red one with like some yellow on it and that'll be the tony gonzalez like there'll be cool things some in years past has been hints like if you zoom in on photoshop really close and you change the shading you'll see it say in the corner like bo jackson's number on the box or you'll see a uh, like a chief's logo now the best part about it sometimes they're trolls like it'll be a chief's logo and it'll be like an 88 overall like 80 overall mccall hardman like but you thought it was going to be tony gonzalez or mahomes so it's always a fun hunt. Uh, last year, I believe it was more color oriented, but near's past has been so many hints pinned on the presents. Hopefully they do it super cool like that. And then as far as preparing guys, really, make sure your coin stack is up. A lot of cards that you have now are gonna probably start to become outdated as we do get into like this part of the year where we get into zero chill and then right into team of the year and everything else. So make sure you guys are selling off some cards. Start team skimming, start selling off some players in your team that you know you're not gonna be using too much or that you know are gonna be outdated soon. Let's just say, right, Chris Jones, defensive tackle, five, 11 to time, goes for 500k, whatever, if he still goes for that much. Sell off guys like that you know have a high coin value that are going to start losing some value. Because this is going to be a lot of cards, right? Ghost of Madden is going to drop 20 plus cards. Out of position, going to drop 20 plus cards. 
uh snow beast can drop about four and zero trip drop up to like 30 40 cards right like it's just like time to really get rid of some guys get ready for get, get some coins ready get some training ready get ready to convert some stuff and just be ready for you know when the streams start make sure you're watching the pre-release streams so you know what to prepare for like you know okay so tomorrow there's gonna be this this and that really just start getting ready for it but guys that pretty much wraps up today's video hopefully if you're new to the channel guys you like the video already and you comment down below thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace